Hello everyone, and welcome to another Doom Eternal video. Today we're going to look at how to enable DOSS for all GPUs, including AMD Radeon. Well, that's actually a lie. We're not enabling DOSS. We're just replacing DOSS with uh, FidelityFX Super Resolution, aka FSR 2.1, which is the AMD equivalent of DOSS, and uh, it also works on older NVIDIA GPUs, so if you have like a 10 series card, you can make full use of this. Okay, let's uh, look at how to install it. So, you go to the downloads, you go to the file section on uh, Nexus mods and you just download it. I'm not going to download it again because I already have it. And now I'm going to do a uh, the actual installation process. So I'm going to go to my Doom Eternal directory. I'm going to list the files. You see that I have the file here. This is the actual mod. I'm going to unzip it real quick. So you see I've unzipped it. It has this folder. And uh, this folder contains all these things. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, move all of them into our uh, main Doom Eternal directory. So I'm just going to move everything from that folder into my uh, current directory, so my Doom Eternal directory. All of these files go into the main Doom Eternal directory. Alright, and uh, now it's the fun bit. We have these uh, Windows registry keys. One is for enabling the mod, and the other one is for disab disabling the mod. What they do on the, on the Windows end is basically they enable you to uh, load unsigned NVIDIA DOLs, so that you can like inject the FSR DOLs instead of, you know, the actual NVIDIA DOSS DOLs. So how do you uh, import them on Linux? On Windows, you would just go to them and just double click them in File Explorer. But on Linux, you have to do something else. So I'm just going to do a Proton Tricks, the Doom Eternal uh, Steam App ID, and the Reg Edit. This, this opens the Wine re Registry Editor. Just let it do its thing. And here we are. So I'm just going to go Import File. And I'm going to uh, choose this one, enable signature override.reg, and boom, it's done. You can then close this, and you're now ready to uh, open the game. Actually, you're not ready. You need to go to Steam and have this launch option. You see? Here, wine DOL overrides equals WNMM equals N comma B. The whole thing in the in quotation marks. This bit you need in your uh, Steam launch options. You need this environmental variable to actually make it work. Now you can actually uh, start the game. And here we are in actual Doom Eternal. Okay, let's see how uh, how it works. So currently, I'm running at uh, 1440p, native. High settings with, uh, tech with all the texture, full size and texture filtering settings set to uh, Ultra Nightmare, and everything else is set to high. Okay, you can see that I can enable DLSS, even though I'm on the AMD GPU. So let's enable it. Let's enable it and set it to quality and see how much that increases our frame rate. Hmm, not much. As you can see, we are currently at 215-ish, 16-ish frames per second. If I go back and uh, disable it, I'm at... Uh, 208 frames per second. So, 10-ish frames per second? Not that great. Let's see what happens when I uh, set it to... 
balanced. What does balance do? Okay, you can see that I'm now at 230 frames per second, which is pretty good. Got like a 20 frames per second increase, which is decent. And uh, visually, the game doesn't really look any worse. Like, I can't tell the difference, genuinely. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try performance. Let's see how performance works. Okay, with performance, now we're at like 257? Why is the frame rate dr jumping so much? Yeah, we're, we're at like let's say 260, 258 frames per second. So we got a boost of 50 frames per second. And the game genuinely does not look any worse. Like it seriously does not look any worse compared to native. Some, some things even look sharper. Like this coffin kind of looks sharper to me in the corner. Let's, uh, let's turn it off again and see how it goes. Hey, yeah. The, the, this coffin looks kind of sharper with uh, FSR. So, yeah. Let's go back to FSR, performance. Yeah, it looks a bit sharper. This is genuinely amazing. I get, I get 50 frames per second more and I get a sharper image. This is actually phenomenal. There is one thing though, and I'm going to have to show you this in uh, actual editing. It's It has to do with these uh, snow particles. As you can see with this uh, upscaled image, these moving particles are ki have, leave this kind of weird trail behind them. I don't know if this is noticeable, I'm just going to zoom in on it so you can see clearly that uh, they leave this weird trails behind them, like the little, like the snow falling. If I go back to native, if I go back to native, you see that you don't have these weird uh, trails. So uh, yeah, that's the only thing I noticed. Okay, now let's play a game. I'm going to uh, give you some gameplay footage and you're going to guess if FSR is enabled or disabled. If you can't tell the difference, then you probably need to install the mod and just play with it. Okay, let's go.